Hey guys, what's up? It's just Connor here. Hope you have an amazing day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about why most fail at high ticket sales, why people aren't successful within this industry, and of course, how you can prevent that from being you, right? Now, quick little intro before I jump into all my points. I know, boring, but I'm gonna give some context to this. For me, myself, right, being in this industry for the past four plus years, spending over $50,000 on my own sales education, taking probably thousands of sales calls at this point and sold millions of dollars in many different industries. I have seen salespeople come and go, come in the industry, fail flat on their face, exit the industry, come in for three months and they leave very, very quickly, right? And these are the different patterns that I have observed between the people who are successful in this industry and the people who aren't, right? And you may be watching this video for one or two reasons. You've already bought a course and the guru told you that you have to go apply for Facebook, uh, try and find gigs through Facebook groups, right? Or job posts. And you've been trying that for months and it hasn't worked. This video might help you out. Or you might be someone who's researching this industry, looking to get involved into high ticket sales or high ticket closing, right? But you want to understand better, right? And I can assure you, I'm the guy that can help you do that. So without further ado, Let's start cracking into some of the points, right? So number one reason most people fail in high ticket sales is they bring a nine to five mindset into sales, right? They have a ineffective strategy that is not leading them to get the roles that they want. Now you guys have to understand this. We live in an amazing digital age, right? One of the best times ever in human history where you can literally from anywhere in the world, right? You can literally take a laptop, right, a phone, an internet connection, some headphones, and you can make more than people with a law degree. You can make more than a doctor, right? Yet people, and you can do that in a very short amount of time, and you don't even have to pay a huge amount of money for a degree that's going to put you in student debt. All you need is a mentor, right? You can do, even do it on your own if you want to, but you're going to get there much faster with a mentor. Anyways, We live in a time where the opportunities are great, yet so many people come in this industry, right? They spend, I I don't know, however much they spend on a mentor. And they'll come in and what do they do? They go to job posts and they go to Facebook groups, right? They implement the most easy strategy, the most well-known strategy that 90% of the industry are using, right? If you're implementing the same strategy that 90% of the industry are doing, you're going to get the same result that 90% of people are getting, which is nowhere, working on roles that aren't going to make you any money, working for scams, working for people that aren't established in credible companies, right? So you need to change your strategy, right? So you need to take, you need to basically repackage your mindset from a nine to fiver to a sales agency, right? You need to think of uh, you basically, as a salesperson, a commission only sales rep, you're running your own business. You are the sales department. You're the marketing department. You're the fulfillment department, right? And so you need to figure out a strategy that's going to be more effective. So how do you market yourself better? How do you create a pipeline of business owners to work with that are going to be able to fulfill on your goals of what you're trying to achieve, right? Um, that's really, really important. So what's a different strategy you can start using? The net, the, basically, the strategy that we talk about in the RSA that's super, super important is networking. Every single role that I've got in my entire sales career has all been through networking. Not a single job I've ever got in my life, including my nine to five retail job, was through networking. It is about who you know. It is not about what you know, right? There is many statistics and facts that represent that. Look it up, Right. Job posts in any industry, not just the sales industry, are going to be much more ineffective too than that of networking. So you need to start thinking of yourself like a business and creating a better strategy to get to where you want to go, right? Most common problem I'm seeing at the moment is so many people come in this industry, right? They might buy Iman Gadzi's 997 course, or there's a bunch of other people out there, right? Where the same information is relayed to every single person inside the training. And so that method of getting results and getting job opportunities, the noise becomes too much, right? Signal to noise ratio is so huge. So it's very hard to stand out in a sea of noise and a sea of competition. How do you get around that? You get that through strategic networking. We cover this in depth, intense inside the RSA, but at a very high level, you have to know 
the right people in the companies you want to work for. I think I can't remember the exact statistics, but it's something like there was a survey that was done by LinkedIn for 3000 businesses. 75% of people inside of that, that got the roles inside of those companies knew a contact inside the company, right? At the most desirable companies in the, I guess, job marketplace, hiring marketplace, it was 95%, right? 95%. If you're using the same approach that everybody struggles to get a job with, even in the general job market compared to sales, what makes you think that you're going to be successful in the sales market, right? Just something to consider, something to really think about, right? That is the true edge that you have as a salesperson, really starting to think of yourself as a business owner and constructing a better and more efficient and effective strategy that is going to get you the results you want. You cannot have a 10K goal and a $100 strategy and a $5 effort. Right, that leads me on to my point number two, which is the effort. Right, people come to this industry and they lack tenacity. Right, they lack the getting after it type attitude mentality. Right, they will send out 40 messages and they'll come to me and they'll go, Oh, Connor, I'm really struggling to find a role. Right, I get DMs every single day, like at least 20 plus DMs a day. And people will come to me who have already tried to get in this industry and they go, oh, Connor, I've just really struggled finding a role. And they tell me, obviously, their strategy is inefficient. But number two, the outreach, the outbound, the effort they've put behind it is almost nil to none, right? I remember when I first got started out, I wanted it as bad as I wanted to breathe, right? And that's something that I see that is lacking in the people that uh, want to be successful, that usually end up being unsuccessful, is they don't want it bad enough, right? They have admirable goals, but they're not willing to sacrifice to get to where they want to be, right? To get one thing, you have to let go of the other, right? So more often than not, what I will see with people is, again, a lack of effort, lack of Lack of substance to their goals, right? They say they want to make 10K a month, but they have a $100 strategy and a $5 effort, right? That is definitely mistake number two. So definitely avoid that. And then the last thing is obviously networking skills. So tying back into the strategy that we talked about before, right? Unconsciously throughout the years, I've been able to basically just network, right? For years and years and years and years, I talked to people without much of a strategy, without much of a know-how, and I would almost do it unconsciously, automatically, right? I'd get on meetings with salespeople, network, communicate, right? I got a part of paid masterminds where I spent up to $20,000 up front to be a part of, right? Where I met some very, very successful salespeople. Given, I would inter- interact and talk to these salespeople. Salespeople talk. What happens? The best salespeople find the best roles, right? And that's how networking is so, so, so important in relation to your success in the industry, because I can assure you uh, the best industry, sorry, the best roles in the industry, they are gatekept, right? They happen behind closed doors. They don't happen in job posts, right? I don't have the exact statistic on me right now, but more specifically, um, there is a statistic that represents that majority of jobs, right? Especially the ones at the most desirable companies don't make it to a job post, Right? if not at all, right? They're always hired internally or through someone they know personally or someone that knows someone within the company personally. So you need to have a structure and a strategy and be able to develop a skill of being able to network, right? If you're listening to this and you've been trying to do Facebook group strategy, job post strategy, all that type of stuff, you can probably resonate with this a lot, right? You go into these Facebook groups and you get pitched a hundred times, pay me $3,000 and I'll guarantee your placement, Right? It's bullshit. doesn't work, right? And I know this because I have many people that I've worked with in the past that have gone through the exact same thing. They always go to me, Connor, do you think this is a scam? And I'm like, well, no, it's not a scam, but it's definitely not going to add up to the price tag for what you're paying because you can get the same job done by a recruiter. So anyways, with that said, guys, just a quick recap to end off the video. So we have Bring your nine to five mindset, right? Change that mindset to you are now a business. You're the marketing department, you're the sales department, and you are the fulfillment department, right? You need to start acting like it, right? If you act like an employee, you will get employee results, right? Number two, you know, change your strategy, right? Build some networking skills, right? Be able to use a strategy, again, that 
the ten percent of the market are using to get the top ten percent of the results. Don't use the same strategy that ninety percent of the market are using to get ninety percent of the bad results. Right? If that makes sense. And of course, actually put some effort behind your strategy, guys. I see this too often. Right? You guys don't want. You just do not want a bad enough. You want a quick and easy fix solution. If I could guarantee you, you're going to make six figures in the next year, completely remote, travel the world, you do what you want. What are you willing to sacrifice to get there? You really have to question that, right? I knew four years ago that I wanted to give up everything to do it. I do it or die trying basically was my mentality, okay? And you probably watching this, you need to have that same mentality or I guarantee you will not get to where you want to go. You need full commitment. This is not a half assed thing. It's not a one foot, one foot out thing. It's you need to be committed. And I see too many people that have these high goals and high aspirations, but they don't have the commitment required, right? Even if you think you have the commitment, right? Really question yourself. Are you really willing and ready to sacrifice what is needed to get to where you want to go? Okay. So with that said, guys, hopefully you found some good insights there. This is something that I've seen uh, across the board in the industry. I thought you'd find some insights. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.